Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping, to the Green Aqua Gallery. In this special Christmas edition, we're going to talk about vivariums and flowers and terrestrial plants. So all kinds of stuff that is related to aquariums, but only remotely. Heatless of the wind and weather Why am I saying that it is related? I'm saying this because like Oasa Biorb, which is a really nice product, Victor, <laughs> Victor has a, a Canon lens cap <laughs> on his face. Come on here, let's, let's show it to the guys. I want, this is, I, we're, we're making the Christmas pirate thing. Let's cut the waffle, <laughs> okay? You, check, check this comment out, guys. What do you think about this? Peace! <laughs> A special Christmas edition at Green Aqua. Follow me in every measure While you tell of your time treasure Fast away the old gym passes Hail the new La 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 So, what about Vivariums, guys? What about Tommy? Was going to present us how he made this vivarium. Actually, let's check out how he did it. Yeah, so while I'm talking here, I'm going to ask Tommy to do some spritzen, spritzen in the background. What did you say, Maximum? Oh, Spitzendose Maximum, bitte. So can we do that? Yeah, look at this. C can you actually see that on, on picture? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna cut the waffle now, again, and just let's see how this uh, vivarium is built. Tommy, you're up. Hello, guys. So today we're gonna talk about the vivariums and all the terrestrial stuff. And, uh, well, we started it all in the store. Uh, with this the Oase Highline 400. This looks like a very basic setup, uh, but it's actually quite an elegant and uh, a quite strictly made aquarium. The aquarium itself is a 140 by 50 by 53 centimeters tank, around 400 liters, and we've used the stock Oase LED lights uh, inside it. Actually, four tubes are running on this, which should be enough for a nature aquarium, but it's definitely enough for this vivarium setup. First of all, what is a vivarium? Well, basically it's a terrarium with lots of living plants inside. Some of the setup is a bit different than a usual terrarium, but basically it's the same thing. And why would we even do something like this when we have all the uh, aquariums around us? Well, first of all, it's much easier to maintain. As for the setup itself, we start from the bottom up, just like in an aquarium. We use a layer of clay balls around two or three centimeters high as a drainage layer and then we use a box screen on top of it and then put ADA Amazonia or basically any soil uh, on top of it as your soil for the plants themselves. And the reason for the box screen is that the, the smaller clay balls don't fall through it, so you have a clear drainage layer underneath. Uh, a drainage layer is very important, so uh, the water on the bottom of a terrarium doesn't fill up on the bottom of the terrarium, so it doesn't start to rot and smell funny. Actually, this aquarium is drilled on the bottom, so we get out all the water from the drainage layer into a bucket underneath, but you don't really need that if you make sure that you don't put more water in it that can evaporate out. It's like the halls with boughs of holly. Ba la 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 la. We are using a spraying system, actually attached to the light in this case, but you can attach it to the glass or the cover or anywhere where you can fit it. And you have to spray the plants themselves. Well, the time, how much you have to spray them, how many times a day you have to spray them, it differs with all the plants and all the sizes and everything. So you, you have to experiment with it. Just make sure that you don't have too much water in your drainage layer and that's it. Just make sure of that and then you can find the, the sweet spot for the spraying. Also, you can use a mystifier. First of all, it looks cool and it's also good for the plants. 
And if you, if you want some livestock in it and you go, for example, for dart frogs, they really like the high humidity that the mist creates in the terrarium. We also use a fan in the corner. It's basically just a, a JBA cooler in the back, which we usually use for aquariums, but you can put any fan inside. But you have to make sure that the air is circulating uh, around the vivarium so water doesn't just stick on plants, uh, it actually dries them up. And the fan itself is quite good in cleaning up your glass. So with the fan you can uh, make it quicker, the vaporization from the glass itself, so it gets back clear after spraying in a few minutes. Sing we joyous together As for the plants in this exact vivarium, we use some mosses on the bottom, which can create a sort of carpet-like look. And then we have some phytonias behind them. Phytonias are very small leaved plants, which can be fairly good in vivariums. They don't really need too much light, so they, you can hide them underneath trees and other plants, uh, but they don't have any problem with, uh, with highlighting, so you can expose them to light as well. And also, if we go to the back, we have some ferns, we have some bromeliads, we have some uh, guzmanias, and, uh, and mostly lots of tilansias inside. Obviously, there are very different species, lots of species of these plants, but you don't really have to look for exact types unless you, you really know what you want. I would recommend just going for the uh, local gardening shop or a local shop with terrariums or us. You can come here and we also have some terrarium plants behind me now. And you just choose whatever you see, whatever you, you see in the shop and you think that it's gonna look nice in the terrarium itself. So I've already mentioned dart frogs before, uh, which is an option for livestock in a vivarium. But you can also keep some very nice geckos and uh, also some chameleons. Uh, just the dwarf types, the very small ones, because the, the bigger chameleons, they need height in a terrarium. So if you've converted an aquarium like this one, uh, it's not going to be good for them because they can't use the height difference uh, for the temperature changes. So this is Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Bruce likes Tommy. What's the quality on, on his head? Yeah. Check this out. <laughs> he doesn't really like me today, but usually he does. So, he's Bruce. He's actually a panther, uh, panther chameleon. We don't keep him in this vivarium because of the height issue I've mentioned before. He has his own place to live. But if, if we wanted some, we could actually put them in this one. Most of the people building vivariums and keeping livestock, they go for dart frogs. They are very, very colorful, very nice animals. They are fairly easy to take care of. If you're afraid of their poison, then don't be. They are actually not poisonous in captive lifestyle. <coughs> Have you guys seen Bruce eat? Ah, Check this out. Okay, this should be fun. Right? Ah, gross. Yeah, it is. <laughs> From close up, it's always gross. Actually, I have some dart frogs at home. We're going to show you some pictures of them. Pretty hard to make some good videos of them in an environment like this because they like to hide. If you guys think that this is even too much work for you and you want something even simpler, then you can go for a bio bear. Uh, this is a new option uh, for this kind of hobby. It's uh, actually a small Small, well, Bayer is a very good name for it. Uh, it's a small boat. Very heavy. Heavy lifting. Here it is. Who's doing the heavy lifting, guys? I'm doing the heavy lifting. Yeah, you should it's get some power for it. Um, is it on now? Yeah. So the light is on. So, this is a Bayer Bayer 60. And uh, we like it very much because it's, it's even simpler than a terrarium like this. It's, you have a whole pre-made setup. You just have to plant it, just put it on your table or somewhere, and it's done. 
you don't really have to do anything with it. You can pour some water in the top of it. There's an automated misting system inside. You just have to take care that there is enough water on, in the bottom part uh, for the humidity. And that's it. The light itself goes in a 12-hour cycle. You, so once you turn it on, it's it's on for 12 hours, then it's off for 12 hours and it's all automated from there. You can use the same kind of plants we've talked about before. Usually we go for some phytonias because of the small leaves. And uh, you can also put some orchids inside, which, are, which look very, very nice. And they uh, usually people have some difficulties keeping orchids at home. Uh, but this is a much better place for them. Usually they bloom every two or three months, which is much more than just moving it. In a normal home aquarium environment, you just pulled all the cameras with the cables. <laughs> so if you think it's too pricey, actually if you start to collect all the things and build something like this at home, uh, it's gonna get more expensive. So obviously if you want something big, go for it, collect the parts yourself. But this one is 60 liters, it's not small. And with this one, with it all automated and the whole setup prepared for you, uh, it's a much easier way to do it and uh, it's cheaper than buying everything separately. And both these products are now produced by Oase. It's a funny thing, they are coming from the pond business and then they started with aquatics and now they are going into the terrestrial business and it's nice to see a company doing these sort of things on this high level. If you're afraid of setting up something like this, it's fairly easy. You just need some coconut fiber uh, in the bottom. Actually, it comes with the biorb itself. You just put this in water, spread it out on the bottom, and you can go with the plants from there. Uh, you can get mosses like these uh, fairly easy from any shop, for example, from us. Um, collecting mosses from the woods, uh, in Hungary at least, it's against all laws. Uh, you have to check your local country. If there is no law against it, then just go out in the woods and collect some moss yourself. Just make sure you uh, float them in some water so all the pests and bugs come out of it. And then you can use an terrarium like this. And then you just need the plants themselves. For example, Tillandsias and all the other we've talked about. Um, just go for some small plants with small leaves. So the ratios uh, will be right in your biorb. And that's it. You have a system set up and you just have to just pour some new water in it from time to time. Um, it's going by itself. While I tell of your tight treasure, fast away the old gym passes. We are coming a bit late with this because we are actually after Christmas now when the video is going on air. But for next year, uh, it's actually a very good idea uh, for a gift if you know someone who, who loves uh, living things and living plants around them but doesn't really know how to take care of them and uh, want something simple that doesn't need too much attention, then a biob is very good. Most of these plants can uh, bloom underneath this light, so you have some very nice flowers in your home. Um, you can put some berry plants inside, like this one. We have some small tomato-like stuff in there. So this is the easiest option of keeping well, some more difficult plants in easier circumstances. Well, that's it for today. If you have any more questions, then use the comments below. I'm going to check for them and try to answer everyone. Um, or just look for our previous video. We've actually built this uh, aquarium live six months ago or so. You can see it here. Strike the harp and join the chorus. Oh, follow me in every measure. Well, the sprayer just came on, it's very cool. Um, and that's it. See you next week. Goodbye. Boom, let's cut the waffle, right? Let's move on. I hope that you did like what Tommy said about terrestrial plants, flowers, biorbs. Beautiful product, isn't it? I love it. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Please like the video. Please get notified of our future uploads by clicking the bell button, etc, etc. And next week, we're coming up with the New, Year New Year's Eve special edition, the uh, tips, aquarium tips at Green Aqua, with many, many good aquascapers. Check that out. Until next week, bye. Fa la 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 la